Hello, welcome back to BS Live. Uh, today we're gonna take a look again at audio nodes, but this time in Blender 2.81. So, if you have seen my video before on audio nodes, uh, this is similar. Um, this is a work by Rupe and Theo. Basically, basically audio nodes is nodes that allows you to make sound and I have this setup already. I'm using Touch OS C on my iPad connected to MacBook Pro. So that's that's real time. Uh, it's um, basically the, the the basic MIDI interface from Touch OS C app that's connected into MacBook Pro. And the way I set it up um, is basically there is a touch. Um, there's a bridge app that's running in the background. There's Touch OS C bridge connected into the Mac via Wi-Fi, and so we have this connections. This one is actually specified to route into audio nodes inside Blender. So you need to configure this. Um, so yeah, so this is one example of how you use it. MIDI input. Uh, this is the interface goes into these nodes piano uh, just now I think we just lost the sound lost we lost the connections time to time okay let's do this maybe I don't need touch OSC bridge or oh, maybe I need okay so MIDI input goes into piano nodes and this goes into math let's make this a bit louder Because by default, the frequency that goes in is kind of very small, so you can't hear anything. So I make it, I'll multiply the value. You can hear a lot of clicking. Um, it, I wonder why that is. Maybe I could figure it out later, but basically this value then goes into the frequency of the oscillator we can choose our oscillator type sine sol square oh, that one's loud sorry so actually quite nice so this is, this is actually polyphonic So I can press multiple value at the same time and um, a bit of Tetris soundtrack there. Uh, so you can turn on anti-aliasing. Maybe that's kind of gonna get rid of some of the noise and the hissing bit of Christmas sound Christmas song uh, so what else can we do here the uh, other than multiply, we can actually have control over velocity, runtime, decay. So they don't. If they don't make sense to you, it will make sense soon. Velocity, I think, depending on how hard I press the button. I don't know if uh, Touch OS C actually support that. But runtime is interesting. If I plug this there. So you can hear. So runtime is almost like you start on the value and it keeps going up and up, going higher and higher. And 
it's depending on when you press the button it's gonna mix at some point so that's really interesting really really interesting and uh, maybe we should multiply this and if we have add it doesn't go too low can actually make like a Wally sounds from Pixar animation movie but we need to get rid of the bottom value there is also um, this decay decay is in very interesting also if I plug this in you don't see any different but if I increase the decay time so the audio will will start and then uh, the value goes down how quickly depending on the decay time you might actually fami be familiar with some of the sound maybe from the old retro games what uh, I'm interested to see is uh, so beside this um, where's my iPad let me quickly check I think I lost my reflector app notifies the connected okay anyway you've seen that so Blender and I have a MIDI connected into MacBook Pro and then we can make this wonder if I mix this two what will I get So that's interesting, but maybe we can do a little bit more. So if I duplicate the oscillator, plug this into this guy and this guy's into the amplitude. So this one is my favorite so far and would be nice to be able to actually see some kind of visualizations if you actually connect maybe if you can somehow get an output from here like a sonic wave output into fetch of nodes I don't know if this is possible yet fetch of now have waveform viewer and I still don't know how to use this and an oscillator also this sign oscillator uh, you can output this somewhat so I'm gonna have to study this and try to connect audio nodes into Svecho <laughs>
that's cool. It's got the it's, it has its runtime now. It's got decay and two oscillator working together to make this kind of vibrato. So yeah, that's just using the simple MIDI interface. There are actually a couple more. There's pitch band. There's a lot of things here that I haven't unlocked. I haven't tried and there's a filter. I don't know what it is. Math, I use math. Um, collapse, toggle, generators, clock, noise. So I haven't used noise. Maybe your noise will also be interesting. Noise really add a maybe some kind of randomness. Whoa, whoa. So that's really loud. Maybe if I can slow down the noise, noise is actually good. Noise is something that actually add a texture into your sound. Maybe you have seen like noise being used in notes like cycles or stretch off or animation notes. It's really adding some kind of uh, imperfections. So yeah, this is audio notes. Another look at audio notes using Blender 2.81. Give this a try yourself. If you have MIDI interface, try it. I think Mac also can... There's a lot of, a lot of Mac apps that's dealing with MIDI, but MIDI is not always piano interface. Uh, there's a lot of um, other interface like... Something that trigger is not just... It's not like a knob. Uh, it could be a, a knob or something. Um, could be also slider so I haven't touched all of that but I'll give a bit of study of this add-on properly and then I'll make another video thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time thank you bye